Kyle Busch desperately trying to recover. Here he comes around the final corner. It's a photo finish. Facing elimination, Eric Almirola needs to win this race. Green flag is out. He gets a good start this time, but Logano inches ahead. Almirola takes the lead right back. Down the plunge. Almirola trying to hold him off. Oh, he gets turned across the finish line. We'll have to double check, but Eric Almirola does avoid elimination. He wins race three, but he got some help from Joey Logano. Ooh, upon further review, maybe Almirola was starting to lose control on his own. And Joey Logano just finished him off either way. Wow, what a competitive race three. Kyle Busch trying to even it up at one apiece. Green flag is in the air for race two. Kyle Busch now gets out to a solid early lead, but Harvick makes the pass in the line out turn. Harvick with the lead around the final turn. He holds off Kyle Busch to take a commanding 2-0 series lead. Man, Kyle Busch looked to have this race well in hand, but did not carry enough speed through that first turn, and Harvick made up a ton of ground. Green flag is in the air. Kyle Busch in the preferred lane has the lead. Keselowski draws even down the back straightaway. Oh, and contact is made. It's Kyle Busch going backwards across the start finish line. That's a wheel man right there. Kyle Busch was able to jam that thing in reverse, kept the car from stalling, and backed it across the finish line after he and Brad Keselowski made contact. The two were pretty even going down the drop. Bush this time is the one who missed the landing, and Keselowski had nowhere to go but into the side of the 18, who was able to use that push from Keselowski to get himself across the line. Blaney looking to even the series here, and we are green for race two. 12 car inching ahead, but here comes Logano. Now Logano makes the pass. Joey Logano trying to take command of the series, and there he goes. Whoa! Blink and you'll miss it. What happened to Joey Logano? He just went straight off course, straight into that same boulder that Kevin Harvick found in our first Western Conference series. What happened to Logano? The car just didn't turn. That's one of the most inexplicable things I have ever seen in all my days of calling diecast races. That car just did not turn. In fact, it hung a left, if anything. A relatively soft landing, all things considered. A nice bed of weeds kept Joey Logano nice and safe. Backed against a corner, facing elimination, needs a tremendous performance here in race four. A great start so far for the six car. Bowman trying to battle back, but Newman's not giving up the position, and now they slide across the finish line. I believe Ryan Newman was able to hold off a hard charging Alex Bowman, but we're gonna need to see that one again. Bowman looks high, then looks low. Newman, we all know Newman's harder to pass than a kidney stone. He uses his entire car to make the block on Alex Bowman and defend his position. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're facing elimination. Winner take all, teammates battling door to door. Green flag is out for race five. Dead even as they head through the S's. Logano inching ahead, now Blaney inching ahead. Side by side, contact and up and over goes Joey Logano. Another flip, another series ends in dramatic fashion. Ryan Blaney will move on to the Eastern Conference Finals as Joey Logano goes up and over. Was he riding the wall there? We'll have to see that again. Did he get forced up into the wall? We'll see one last time here. Oh, it's hard to say. Blaney might have moved up a little bit. Perhaps Logano bounced off the 12. Hard to say for sure, but Joey Logano tried to ride the wave and it did not stick. From an Eastern Conference Finals berth, green flag is out here in race four. Chase Elliott backed against a wall. He desperately needs a win, but he is falling behind. Bubba Wallace, now he slows. Bubba Wallace slows and Chase Elliott steals the win. What just happened? Bubba Wallace inexplicably slowed down the final straightaway and it's Chase Elliott facing elimination who gets the win. What happened here? Bubba Wallace bobbles a bit coming off the perilous plunge. Perhaps that broke something in the rear of the car. Perhaps it knocked that 43 out of gear. Yeah, you can see him spinning the tires here. He could not get that car refired and Chase Elliott in the closing stretch. 
evens the series at one apiece. This time Johnson is the control car. Pretty even start. Now the 48 pulling away. A lot of speed out of that 48 car, but here comes Blaney in the home stretch and it's Blaney at the line by a nose. Saving the best for last, Ryan Blaney takes a 2-1 series lead. Let's see how he got it done. Jimmy Johnson two-wheeling it. Oh my goodness, he leaps off the perilous plunge there. Just absolutely skips that portion of the track. Killed his momentum though, and Ryan Blaney with the beautiful pass on the outside there. Cars are lined up for race two. Truex looking to even the series. He gets a good jump from that preferred line. Bubba Wallace trying to close that gap. Truex with the lead, but here comes the 43. Oh, and it's too close to call at the finish line. A photo finish for the second round in a row. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to slow that one down. I'm not sure who won. Around the final turn, Bubba Wallace around the outside. Contact, Rubbin's racing. It's Truex by a nose over the 43 car. Martin Truex Jr. hangs on to even the series. Wow. Keselowski looks to be the second driver in a row to come back from a 2-0 series deficit. Can he win race five? Keselowski has the early advantage through the line out turn. Kyle Busch desperately trying to recover. Here he comes around the final corner. It's a photo finish across the start finish line. I don't know who won. Who is moving on to the second round? We are gonna have to see that one again. What a rally from Kyle Busch, the candy man. Across the line, it's Busch by a fender over Brad Keselowski. He avoids elimination and gets it done around the final corner. Oh my goodness, it doesn't get much closer than that. <laughs>